ring, the carnivore coming, the cage is locked, so it ain't no running, the what your hands and prepare to dance, and you getting the victory is not in the plan, technique to advance, train What's going on, my fellow nerds in the hood? You already know what it is. It's Wednesday, new comic book day. What you reading? Because I'm about to let y'all know what I'm reading, even though it was a kind of a light week, you know what I'm saying? But I just want to keep these videos going every week, every week, trying to have some consistency, you know what I'm saying? So, first of all, the first issue, Justice League, number 34, still dealing with the year of the villain, Apex Lex. It seemed like the uh, his Legion of Doom might have the upper hand. So we'll have to read that and find out what's going on. Number two, we got Batman, number 81, City of Bane, and uh, Bruce Wayne and Selena Kyle is on their way back to Gotham, and they're going to see if they can take down the Bane. You know what I'm saying? He got Thomas Wayne with him, and he have all the villains of Batman and the Gotham, just like Two Faces Police, all of these villains is just out there running the streets. You know what I'm saying? Taking total control. Bane is definitely no joke in the series. All right, next we got uh, what's this? Teen Titans number thirty-five. In um, uh, in the last issue, the Jin she lost the ring, and we was trying to, and uh, everybody was trying to find out who was going to steal her ring, who stole her ring. It had to be one of the uh, Teen Titans. Then we find out at the end of the issue that it was Bounce Boy who, who had stole her ring. And that if you got her ring, you can control her, you know what I'm saying? And she's so much more powerful when someone has the ring and they're controlling her. Like, she's powerful by herself, but when somebody has her, her magic ring and can control her, she's just twice as powerful. And we're going to see where that leads to. And that's Teen Titans. Yo, this is my, I can't wait to read this. Yo, X-Men number one, after the powers of X and the house of X, you know what I'm saying? It's pretty much, long story short, everything that happened in previous X-Men happened, but it was in Marvel Taggart's previous life. Because her, her, we found out in the powers of X and the house of X that her mutant ability was reincarnation. So all those things that happened, all the 60 years of the X-Men, it happened, but it happened in her different lives. And pretty much the outcome of it is, is Xavier and the mutants, they always lose, you know what I'm saying? So this is the one chance where they can maybe get it right. And they have all the mutants together on one island, and they got a 12-man a, a council, and they trying to lead all of, like I'm talking about, like, we got Mr. Sinister and the Marauders down with Xavier. You got Magneto down with Xavier. You got um, Emma Frost and the Hellfire Club down with uh, Xavier. You got um, Mr. Sinister and uh, his people down with him. I think I said Sinister. And you got Apocalypse, his people down with him. It's like, yo... It is hectic, like all the mutants is together as one united force, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, yo, they determined not to lose this war, man. It's going to be so dope. I can't wait to read these and all the uh, X-Men cross-ins, man. And uh, last but not least, this is the third book in this one. is uh Frank Millar, Superman Year One. This is the third book, and pretty much it's just going to... Uh, just little stories of Superman's younger days that's not really popular, that wasn't really told, you know what I'm saying? Like, in the last issue, well, in the first issue, we seen him growing up as a little boy. Then after he graduated Smallville High, <clears throat> Clark enrolls into the military. I don't know why they did that, because Clark ain't no soldier like that, you know what I mean? He's a farm boy. There's a whole different mentality. And then in issue two, issue two, you see him like 18 years old on the military base. He's going through boot camp and stuff like that. And then uh, they over by some water. And uh, he hear these things calling and he jump in the water. And then it was like this mermaid, you know what I'm saying? And Clark is underwater chilling with this mermaid. And he's banging this mermaid, real talk. Clark banging the mermaid. And then he wound up 
getting kicked out of the military, out of the military, you know what I'm saying, for pretty much going AWOL because he used to just bounce and go do whatever he wanted to do whenever, you know what I'm saying. And this is a, a story. He looks like he's a little bit older in this one, maybe about young 20s. So we'll see how that plans out. And I want to thank you all for joining me for that What You're Reading, the weekly series, Nerds in the Hood, your boy Big Smooth, we in here, you know what I'm saying? Yo, let's get to 200 subscribers, yo, we small, we growing, let's get to 200 subscribers, we almost there, man, hit that like, subscribe, share it with your peoples who might like it, you know what I'm saying? Let me know in the comments what you're reading, yo, till next time, yo, I'm out, yo, peace.